So this is an update on the development of modeling cloth. For those of you who didn't know, I'm rewriting it because I was chasing down a lot of bugs and they're just the architecture needed an update. And Blender 2.8 makes a lot of new things available that weren't available when I originally wrote this in 279. So all of the things that could normally break modeling cloth, like popping in and out of different modes or changing the names of objects or deleting things or creating a collider and then deleting that collider and then it doesn't run anymore and all of that stuff. Uh, basically, I just I needed to rewrite to fix all of those things. So what I'm working on now, undo should work. You should be able to save and load, all those things. So I'm not ready to release the rewrite yet. It's still in development, but I did want to give everyone an update. Now, for all the people who are supporting Modeling Cloth, Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's awesome. I'll continue to develop it. I plan to make it free forever, uh, but I still really appreciate the support. If you want to support it, buying it from the Blender market is not the best way to do that because the Blender market takes about 40% of that money. So if you want to support it, go through Patreon or Gumroad or you can go through PayPal. Uh, just not the Blender market. That's not the best way to do that. The only reason it's on Blender market is because they basically market things. And so it gets a lot of exposure there. Thanks again for the help. So let me show you what I can currently do with the rewrite that's not available yet. Um, if I add an object and I subdivide it like so, and then I want to make this a cloth object, and I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to pin this section of vertices. So we're going to set that with a weight of one, and then we set this to run. Over here you can see that it's calculating. And now if I turn up my gravity, um, you can see it starts to move. So gravity is making that fall. And now if I switched in and out of edit mode, normally you'd have to stop everything and restart. Well, now it runs in edit mode. So popping in and out of modes doesn't make any difference now. And there will be an option whether or not you want the sections that are selected to be paused, or if you want to basically just put pressure on it. And I'll explain that later on when I'm further in the development. So as you can see, it doesn't break anymore when you do that kind of stuff. And even better than that, if I change the geometry, well, it still keeps running. I can even add geometry, like cut some loops here and it just keeps running. It doesn't stop. So the convenience of not having to switch out in and out of modes and all that, that's really amazing. Now if you wanted to do something a little bit more complicated with adding or deleting geometry, well really just adding geometry, like say you wanted to extrude, well you can extrude but it doesn't really know like how big those faces should be. So if you want to extrude while it's still running, you can jump into the source shape like this and then say you want to, I don't know, extrude some weird faces that are super long or something like this. It's still running then as soon as you switch back to the current shape you get the updated geometry right there. So if you're adding geometry basically you want to switch to the source shape first and then you can add at your leisure extrude weird stuff or whatever and it just keeps running. So all the rest of the stuff, collisions and uh, wind and those effects, those are being added in as I develop those things. Um, oh, one other thing, I'm actually using a completely different solver, something that I have been puzzling over for literally months that has always bothered me. I finally by experimenting with the math, came up with something that solves uh, some of the problems that were driving me completely bonkers, provided I can get it to work. I'm actually actively changing the code, so some of this stuff is still a little bit wonky. So previously, when you had a shape like a cylinder, you've got this top face here, 
has a whole lot of connected points and it would basically behave weird with weird topology. So like n-gons. An n-gon, you know, or a face that has a whole bunch of connected vertices would behave differently from a face which only has a few connected vertices. It would kind of drag and behave incorrectly and it wouldn't solve as fast and whatever. So I figured out a way finally to balance those forces so that I get consistent behavior no matter how many connected points are in the polygon. So you can see it doesn't really move any different than the rest of the mesh, whereas before it would act really weird like it was pulling through jello or something wherever you had a whole lot of polygons in an n-gon. So that's fixed. And this new solver is also a lot more stable, so if you go and, you know, like crank up the forces to something that's unstable, it doesn't break the same way that it used to. It can still hit a point where it starts to wiggle uh, if you set the forces too high. Well, and I suppose it could do that. Um, but it's a lot more stable than it was, so it's a lot less likely to explode than it used to be. It used to be that if you set it to like, you know, 1.1 it would have exploded, but I'm basically doubling the forces here and it's it's still a lot more stable than it was. Uh, another cool thing, I can reset just the selected area and since you know it's running in edit mode there's other things that are like that that are possible to do. Um, so I, I guess that's about it for the current progress of the rewrite. This is just a development update. I will keep posting as I'm able to add new features. Uh, I can link the code for the rewrite if you want to play with it. But like I said, a lot of stuff is disabled currently. And in order to run this code, you need to paste it into the text editor in Blender and hit run script. So if you're not familiar with doing that, you can just wait until the release. Um, but for those of you who are real enthusiasts and maybe know a little bit about development, uh, feel free to follow the links below to the current status of the rewrite. So that's about it for now. Thanks, everybody.